Welcome back, everybody, to our final broadcast of the day. You're watching the Star Ladder Season 5, brought to you by Beyond the Summit. I'm LD, I'm joined here by Winter, and we are casting 4FC versus 3D Max. Before we talk about this particular game, let's look at the standings for Season 5. We already saw Empire and Mouse both win earlier today, so they moved. They basically maintain their current positions in the standings, neck and neck with each other for that 4th, 5th place. Uh, as for remaining. this particular matchup, well... These two teams are struggling. 4FC, two wins, Five three losses, a lot of remaining. games yet to be played before the ladder is done. And as for 3D Max, 1 and 5, pretty much guaranteed not to have any shot at moving on in the ladder. So at this point, playing for pride, playing for practice, and well, let's see who's going to come out on top. As far as the bans, very, very standard. Interestingly enough, we see a mag ban, which he hasn't really been ban worthy, and there's a keeper of the light in the pool, and normally that's first pick material wherever you are. Keeper of the light. Yeah, there you go. And there's also Dark Seer in the pool. Oh, I forgot to switch my overlay back. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Dark Seer as well. He's a hero that's been getting banned a lot too, but I mean, less so in Europe because Europe really prioritizes banning the Wisp, whereas in Asia, he pretty much always banned the Dark Seer over the Wisp. So, I did ban Wisp over Dark Seer just now, the yeah. semi final. See, that's the Muffin Heart. Man Wisp. You respect him. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, the standing I was playing with Miracle from first debacher, he remaining. told me you must ban Wiz against them. Dark they CR. are very good at Wiz CK. So I just listened. I took his advice. <laughs> I mean, I did watch the Wiz CK game and they did destroy Mineski, although I have to say I felt like Mineski was trolling. <laughs> there was a point in that game where one of the Mineski players just... Uh, you know you know how if you're just messing around, you cast RP and then cancel it repeatedly just to practice your fan speed, I guess? Well, he, he was doing this, but before they lost the game, mind you, they were not out of it by any means, actually casts it, and then they immediately lose a big fight. <laughs> Just wasted it on the ground while he's messing around. They had a PL with an upgraded Diffusal Blade, a Manta Style, a Butterfly, and, well, they were screwed. But that's neither here nor there. That was the GEST. We're focusing on Star Ladder Winter, and we're going to see a Gyrocopter and a Darkseer picked up. Big AoE, big team fight. Up against the Keeper of the Light, Shadow Demon, the Quick Response, and the Prophet. No uh, Life Stealer choice, though. This, this heroes again. It's always the same heroes, is it not? Well, uh, I guess the Darkseer's new, because he's been getting banned. You can't say Darkseer's new. New for, this, new for today, at least. Not new. <laughs> new for today. And it's going to be some huge combination already. The vacuum into the call down. That's already very, very de devastating. Ten seconds remaining. What will the follow-up be? Maybe they'll go for something like a Rubik Five here. Seconds remaining. They don't really have a setup. They need a support of some kind. Unless they... Some of the European Sanking. teams... Reserve Sanking time. as well could be mm, good, yeah. Uh, just not very popular in Europe. Haven't seen many Sanking players as of late. A very popular oh, in Asia right now, and they will go for the Rubik. Maybe for AL. Ban. I have to message Mania. Mania, yeah, he... Where's yeah, his Earthshaker? Where is his Sand Where is your Sand King? Where is your Sand King, buddy? What's wrong, Mania? <laughs> Don't pick Bane, Elemental, and Rubik. <laughs> pick Rubik and Sand King. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I miss, actually, I miss my Mania Earthshaker as well. That's one of my favorites for him. I personally think that he was actually very underrated. The it's Sand a very King? good su support, yeah. The stun is very good early on. Team ban. And not to mention, Sanking is one of the few supports that are re that's really difficult to catch because of the Sandstorm and the uh, Barrel Strike. And he forces the enemy supports to buy Wards, Fire Dust, which ban. obviously is, in a lot of cases, which obviously is a, a nice little in additional incentive. 3D Max is actually going to ban Kunkka. Obviously, he's a strong combo partner with Shadow Demon. Why? Why? Why do you ban Kanka when you don't have something like a PL? Are you are they gonna still pick something like a PL? Oh my god! Because it seems like four FC are the ones who are gonna pick PL, and they are banning Kanka when Kanka is good against PL. Well, I think they're very worried about the Shadow Demon Kanka combo. Is the thing, and they do that, they do have a gyro. Is that, is that more famous? The one of the more famous laning. Combos they use now in the European scene. Uh, I don't know if it's a famous combo. It's just it's some teams like to run it. I know even before TI2, Dare was doing it a lot. It's something that's sort of been on and off. It's never been a consistently popular thing. I know QPad, Sing Sing likes to play Kunkka a lot. Although he often just solos mid and their scrims. They haven't really played any tournaments yet, but it's sort of yeah, a it's a fringe pick. Remaining. It's not a common one. 
Gonka got buffed as well. The cooldown on the ghost ship. Remaining. Yeah, it's very, very low. You can use it just basically. It's what forty seconds now. Uh, one 60, minute. I think. Sixty. Okay. Let me let me check it for you. I think I'm thinking of gyro ultimate maybe. Hmm. Yeah, it's very low. I know that. Queen of Pain the van. What sort of mid hero do they have in mind? Maybe something like a Beastmaster. Yeah, they're banning Queen of Pain, so it could probably be a mini. Night Stalker, control. perhaps? Puck? Puck? Oh, interesting. Oh, Puck. I'm not sure Radiant why you would ban Queen of Pick. Pain. I guess there's already a lot of AoE on 3D Max. Yeah, it's also yeah one of the reasons as well. It's the combination with the vacuum. Queen of Pain, ultimate plus the cooldown. See you later, keep off the light, Shadow Demon, Nature's Prophet. So, as you as you were requesting, they banned the Phantom Lancer. We won't see the Codal PL. Thank God for that. I don't think I could cast a game like that today. <laughs> oh, you, you, you know what? Ten PL plus remaining. Darkseer plus Shadow Demon, okay. GG. <laughs> Five seconds remaining. I don't think Winter. I don't think we would live through that game. To be totally honest, it's what three a, three a.m. where you are now. Yeah, three a.m. Yeah, we might be here until five a.m. with those heroes. All in but one my point. night, but my night stalker wings are going out. Four FC. They don't really have any late game right now. Well, they have profit, I suppose, but not no big late game. Two natural hex carries, no real physical damage. What would they go for here? Faceless void. I think that, doesn't, could, that doesn't really match up well. Hmm. If they decide to put the gyro middle, they could go for another carry because it's very popular in Europe. Scene as I see, to put the gyro in middle, especially when you're on the radiant side so you can stack the ancients yourself oh, and do it with the black cannon later this is a strong pick the lena yeah. 4fc is very squishy four intelligence heroes with low strength gain relatively low base strength a lot of free kills for that laguna blade yeah and doxia rubik lena this is something lgd in like to run and i'm a big fan of it because you can play so aggressive from the start, Darkseer can just do creep skipping and Rubik and Lina. It's so scary remaining. to lane against if they do the tri lane with the Darkseer. I think I think we're more likely to see a tri lane with the Gyro and the Darkseer jungling, or uh, I guess it could be an offensive tri lane with the Gyro as well. Either of these would be quite strong, actually, Darkseer or Gyro. Yeah, the flat cannon is just so strong, and I think most of the teams now are more. More keen to skill the gyro, uh, not the flat cannon. Sorry, the what's the name of the first skill? Uh, the rocket barrage higher to get more kills in the lane. Instead of last time, where you usually see the gyro like the game before, let's just take one level on the barrage, one level on home missile, four levels on the flat cannon, and they just go all out on stats. Yeah, I mean, this game, the, the missiles would be so good. I guess there's the Prophet ult to tank them, but that's really... Or not ult, but Treants to tank them, but that's really it. And they're all very squishy. I think they could go aggressive tri-lane, and if it's, an e if it's an easy lane, you could leave the Gyro there. You can roam and find the Prophet in the jungle, hunt him down. Uh, he could, LGD in style. Yeah, and, and, and you know, like, in theory, he could be in the lane, but the problem is Darkseer can crush him in the lane, so he may just have to retreat to the jungle, and then you can punish him there, quarter him, and pick him off. I think aggressive tri lane with the gyro would be very strong this game. Come on, we need to see someone play aggressively. Ten seconds remaining. Not just sit back and farm the early game. Five seconds remaining. Let's Alchemist. see. Alchemist. Oh my god. Oh, this, oh no. this draft oh, from 4FC. This is so total. vulnerable to an aggressive tri lane. And it's a total draft. Acid spray, Kotal blast, nature's wrath. Nature's Prophet, TP around, split pushing, you have to go back and defend. Then there's a part to wave and clear out the creeps. Then there's Shadow Poison. Every single hero has anti-push. That's true. It's a great turtling lineup. I mean, even though 4FC has a lot of like strong turtling power, in the laning seconds, stage, if they don't have good vision, they're very easy to pick off. If you just get Telekinesis Lift, Five then the Lita Stun, whoever is there, is dead. So this game, if they go aggressive, but comes down to the, the warding game. The thing is, it's also... Difficult for 3D Max to run an aggressive tri lane against the Kotal, Shell true. Demon, and Alchemist. It's actually very painful. But the stun from the Alchemist open with the disruption and the Kotal Blast. That could actually kill the Rubik or Lina. So if they Even don't go the aggressive, ooh, looks like maybe they, uh, they will tri lane with the CK or run the Gyro and the Dark Seers, the two solos. Yeah, this is more like it, man. A little I tankier, guess. a little bit more reliable stun. A lot more reliable stun. A little bit less damage in the tri lane, though. And it seems like my Dota is lagging. Is that just me? 
Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. All right, I may have to restart my Dota real quickly, guys. Sorry about that. I guess it's my PC may be on its last legs for today. It's had a long day too. All right, I'll keep you updated. Let's let's try restarting Dota. Sorry about that. We'll be right back. Yeah, let us know how things are going in the meantime, Winter. I think it's definitely going to be a aggressive fighting for 3D Max. Yeah, he was just uh, so strong. And 4FC is running something so greedy. Free farming on Grievo's Great Alchemist. Well, if they, seen, if, they get to, you, if they get to farm, they're going to have such a strong late game lineup. Have you ever seen any European teams run the Alchemist with a Midas? Uh, is, it, is it Fnatic? I think I, saw, that? I think I saw it yesterday. Yeah, I think it's Fnatic. Who was Era it? on the carry Alchemist. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was Era, I think. I think that's what I cast but, yesterday. But he didn't max. I remember he didn't. He got the Midas, but he didn't max the Grievous Grid from the start because he wanted to buy a Shadow Blade very early on and he skilled his unstable concussion to le level full in the early phases so he could find solo kills easily. So they're going to foray into their own jungle. They don't place a lane ward. There's a Prophet Tree to scout them out. So we'd expect a tri lane with the CK. Hmm. <laughs> are they going? Are they to... going to to do a dual lane middle, dual lane bottom, and Darkseer off lane, or even just oh. Darkseer jungle at first? Hmm. Oh dear! Why do teams dislike running aggressive trilanes? Why does Dota dislike keeping my smooth drag enabled? So many questions. All right, Winter. This is Starlighter Season Five. This is our final cast of today. So let's introduce the players. Has to Joe Rotten going mid as the gyrocopter. Has not been pulled, but is rushing to Wraith Band for that last hitting power. Ace, going to be playing the Darkseer and the jungle. They're abandoning the offlane. Very defensive, passive play for 3D Max. Hayek on the Rubik. Buller on the Queen of, or on the Lina with the smoke of the sea picked up. And N, uh, I'm not sure if this is a stand-in, on the Chaos Knight with a double damage rune already picked up. And for 4SC, we are strammed by on the Koto. Standing Pep on the Puck. Boomski on the Shadow Demon. Cheerily on the alchemist and okay, you need I need help. Eris Loco on the nature's prophet. How do I pronounce the names properly? Eris Loco. I think you're pretty good. Okay. Okay. Level one Grievous Greed. So this is gonna be a greedy, greedy alchemist. Okay. Oh, sorry. This is Noaya. I was, I was not a stand-in. Just not actually change his name. So they are using their full roster for this game. Off the bat, good form. Actually, hasn't missed a CS yet. Really? To be honest, you from the heroes, you already know who's gonna get the upper hand of trade offs when both teams are passively farming. They have a quota to stack their natures to farm. They have Grievous Greed. I'm not sure if you're 3D Max, you're happy to take a trade off like that. Well, they do have a smoke on Lena. Maybe once they get level 2, we're gonna see them go for a smoke gank. Uh, oh, yeah, and, and I like this as well. They did the very good. Uh, early routine where one of the supports just pull the camp here, double pulls it, the other support will stack the other creep camp here to give it a two stack and they will clear it together later on. You get instant level three after that. And the dark you do it with both the supports. Yeah we'll see. The Dark is probably gonna stack that no, nope. he's gonna go to stack this camp while the Lina stacks the other one. Yeah they're stacking. This is Stack City Winter. Stack City indeed, but I still favor for FC with the Alchemist, Grievous, Grid, and the Koto, which can clear stacks much faster. And the Prophet. <laughs> and then Prophet usually means another Midas. Yeah, why not? Let's get another Midas. Oh my god, look at the stacks, look at the stacks. Stacks galore. Triple stack, just constantly farming the small camp, triple okay. stack. And the Prophet has to, has to do what No Tide Hunter did. Stack every single freaking neutral creeps with your summon. This alchemist is going to have to be huge. By the way, his name's on the building, Winter. It's four friends and Krilly. And this is Krilly. So you got to figure this guy is going to be expected to four carry his one. team. Four for tech one. Yes. It's <laughs> in, it's in the name. It's in the name. It's actually a very good game to do the neutral stacking with the nature's sum uh, the prophet summon because you have an alchemist to abuse it with the grievous greed and the acid. You can clear it very fast and gain so much gold from it. I will be very excited to see if they do that. 
<laughs> well, if you're going to play passive farming Dota, at least be efficient about it. That's something to be excited for. And already, Ace up to level 4 has already cleared that triple stack, more or less. He's going to finish it now. Going to get close to level 5 at only 3 it's minutes in. It's not really too fast, though. 3 minutes level 4 on Dark Side. It's sort of you... The speed is about the same if you stack normally and do it. It's alright. I personally think it, it could be a better decision if you give more of the experience to the Rubik and the Lina. The Rubik is still level 1. Well, he's spending a lot of time trying to harass the Puck mid, but they're not going to kill Puck. How are you going to kill a Puck with Rubik and Gyrocopter? Homing missile can never touch the Puck. Unless he decides to feed, that's pretty much it. Well, they not giving anything to the Rubik, but Lina is level 4, so she's getting a lot of experience. Yeah, and 4FC is starting to dictate the play of the game right now. They are, they are the ones who take the tier 1 at top first, and they're going to open up the map a lot more to farm for their heroes. Rocket applied. Hester Joran is actually chasing this because Lina's here. Is going to hit with the stun. Though there's going to be a phase shift just in the nick of time up to the hill. No. Salve's up. No. He's trapped. He's going to have to wait six seconds, then he can orb away. Boy, no that was very close. He actually almost, the missile actually almost hit. Ooh, gonna waste the south. Yeah, but I think he's happy. At least he didn't die. And, you know, 3D Max, they're actually very contented to keep farming like this, not applying any early pressure with the smokes. Well, sorry to those who were saying they couldn't hear me in game. Hopefully, the audio is fixed now. Uh, as you could see, the in-game audio was on. Not sure why it wasn't working, but let me know in two minutes' time if it's not, and I'll see what I can do to fix it. Anyway, well, as far as gold goes, pretty even. Experience-wise, big lead for the Radiant right now. Oh, they're, they can go to Puck. A lot of damage for the Rocket Barrage. He's oh. dead. Heck. No, uh, that was a no silly up, first blood. No up to escape, and he paid for it. Very, very silly way to die. Profit. Going for Midas, just farming the neutrals up to level 5. Well, and they give up the. Is going for Midas as well. It, it is nice against Darkseer. You can at least Midas the Ion Shell creeps once in a while. Just a little True. relief. It's like if you have a, a scratch that you have to scratch. Once in a while, you get rid of it. Oh, the cooldown comes out mid. Pep keeps on farming with the orb and just dying as a result. They don't have a ward from towards the top rune, but, you know, fool me once. Yeah, fool me twice. Very, Come on now. Very, very greedy then. He's this totally disregarding of the fact that 3D Max has the two e e heroes that has so high burst damage to kill him. And he just offs in front of their faces and die. It seems like... And the Rubik was level 1, but because he's been involved in so many kills, now he's actually benefiting a lot from this, and it's overall a good trade. He's up to level 4. If these kills have not happened, he may still be level 1, or maybe just level 2. Yeah, he's... It's sort of the fact that when you're not pulling as a support, and when you're doing something like that, and if you don't benefit from it, you're losing out. You're wasting your time. He... I, I would say he just got gifted. His level and experience got gifted from the part. Because of the way the puck is playing. Haster now up on the gyrocopter. Lots of heroes that could potentially be killed, but can they get to the alchemist? That's the real and, question. And you know, LD, I really don't like the fact that they ran a dual lane middle with the Rubik, and the Rubik wasn't stacking at all the ancients for the gyro to farm. They weren't being efficient for it as well. I think he just tried. I saw him over there, but I guess he messed up with the set. No, oh no, never mind. I guess he was there a little bit too early. Yeah, he's been spending a lot of time near that top rune, but not actually stacking. Is the puck going to get caught out again? Oh, here he goes. He used his orb again. Are they going to go from behind right now? This is a good time to go. There is a Dream Coil, uh, though. If he can get it off, he's going to phase shift. Needs to pop the Dream Coil. Does not do so in time. Now he's probably going to die. Hester Jorot may pay with the, with his own life. In fact, puck phase shifts almost. It does bait out the kill in the end. Doesn't get the experience, unfortunately, for him. And the Shadow Demon was a second late, so he doesn't get it either. Rubik on the way out, trying to escape. He's attack. playing so, so bossy. Doesn't care. <laughs> the gyro or the uh, or the puck? Of course the puck. <laughs> the gyro manned up there though, with Dream Coil yeah. on the field. He just get annoyed. What is this puck doing? He has totally no respect of me in the lane. He thinks I'm a creep or something. I like how our 
our CK is a solid 9 CS ahead, and he's actually 400 gold behind it. It's about to get a lot worse. Or 300 gold <laughs> just, behind. Just because of Grievous Greed. And, and the Midas. You never get, you never get Midas on CK. <laughs> Krill is dying to Iron Shell. He actually is really dropping low to this. Darkseer is looking for the backstep. Has the Ion Shell. Has the Surge. Gonna go with the oh. vacuum. Oh, no. The ult just comes off cooldown in the nick of time for Krilly. He really needs to save those Midas for the Ion Shell creep. He's very struggling right now. He probably could use a healing salve. Up to, to, up to 12k gold. Or not 12k. 1.2k gold. Is this where you go for your Shadow Blade? Do you go for your Radiance? Hmm. What no. will Krilly get? You know what? I'll talk. I'll talk to you a bit about Mushi's item build on Alchemist. I'll talk. Talk to me about it a second, because I'm watching Boomskate take a lot of yeah. Iron Shell damage. There's a surge here. There's no demonic oh, purge. The Alchemist is gonna stun himself. Oh, Ace oh, is actually died. what a he vacuum. He almost died. The Alchemist almost died when his own stun <laughs> exploded on himself, and he didn't max the Grievous Greed. He maxed his stun, almost costing his life. I'm very confused. I, Why would you max this I, ability I in guess this situation? Go for Blade. And he wants the stun, like I mentioned, what Fnatic did with the uh, Alchemist to go solo kill very early on with the Shadow Blade. Well, by the time he has the Shadow Blade, though, he could have a max Gravel's Great and a max Unstable Concoction. True. Good point, as well. I guess yeah, maybe he's going to level up the Poison Spray then, the Acid Spray. Back to talking about Mushi. I know you like to hear about his alchemist item build. Oh, they smoked under Dire Ward. Oh, they have a ward there as well. The vision the vision of 3D Max is very good now. They have vision on the top lane, the mid lane, the river, the rune. They know where are they, where the enemy team is rotating and the smoke gang is coming because of the info they're getting from the wards. CK has oh, also been getting free farm. Is this armlet complete? Armlet recipe, not just yet, but it's coming oh, soon. Top lane, they go into Alchemist. Alchemist in trouble. Alchemist will die very quickly. He actually, I think that was a three hero stun, but it was a really low charge on it, so it doesn't actually do much in the end. Simultaneously, mid lane, they're going to start pushing. And top lane, in comes Boomski, looking to defend this tower by himself, really? Uh, just a soul catcher, a shadow poison. Are they going to chase? No, nope, not just yet. Yes, they are. Hester Jorotten comes in! Boomski looking to juke! Oh, really juking nice like juke there. Like really nice like juke. Patiently waits until the second the gyro walks into the trees, then walks right out, and easily escapes. Meanwhile though, yeah, someone who's not being very patient is Pet. Pet just keeps him finding his oh. way into trouble. Call down is gonna hit on two, and the, oh, that's a lot of damage from Hester Jorotten, and they get back back in. Even more damage. Acid Spray, though, they're fighting inside of it. Ace if he breaks this, will die. Is the ch there's no stun right now, but Curly's still giving chase. There's more surges available in five seconds' time. More juking at the exact same tree spot. Meanwhile, Laguna Blade flies out. Not enough to actually kill off the Prophet, but Prophet may die yet. Here comes the Alchemist stun. Look at the damage on that Alchemist stun. And Ace will escape. So three heroes dead. They're fighting without the CK, who's busy chopping away at Gandalf bottom. Saruman just destroying Gandalf. Brutal to watch. One more cleave. Down we'll go. Oh. That winter. This is the bad guys are winning right now. The bad guys are the ones who are greedy. The ones who have two Midas. Midas. They want to farm the whole map. They want to dominate the world. They want to take over the world. The battle of Middle Earth has just begun. <laughs> uh, this this is too much. Every game, there's so many Midas's. It just blows my mind. Uh, it's so crazy how different the Asian scene is right now compared to the European. Do you know what? I think sometime, some game we would see like Alchemist getting a Midas, level 7 max Grievous Greed, and then they'll have a farming doom with max Devourer at level 7 <laughs> and getting a Midas as first item. <laughs> and an anti max rushing a battle free. <laughs> Why not? They're gonna get a kill bottom on Chaos Knight though, I believe. Armlet is picked up, he has not toggled it yet, now he turns it on. He needs to toggle one more time, I think, here. If he toggles, he can go back in, in fact, he will do so. Still alive, Strang be in trouble. God, that armlet early pickup so strong. He's going to toggle again. And now Prophet's the one in a pickle with this stun and the auto attacks. He will get the turnaround kill unless Puck comes in. Will look to do so. One more armlet toggle. No, he breaks the tether before toggling. Oh, that was a mistake. Could have probably lived there. At least forced the big dive. 
that that looked like it was Xbox standing in. <laughs> I'm not toggling like like before. Pep gets involved on the map though. Alchemist up to 2.6k. If it's a Shadow Blade, it's coming soon. Yeah, it's definitely a Shadow Blade. There's no reason why would you max your stun and not your Grievous Greed if you're not trying to get a, a Shadow Blade to solo kill. Maybe he'll get a Blink Dagger. That's the other option. But he could have already had it by now, so that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite item on Alchemy. It is quite fun. I mean, the new stun is really legitimate. If you have something to set it up, like Dream Coil, and you can hit multiple heroes with it, it does a ton okay, of damage. I'll tell you how I play my Alchemist. I go Boots at level 1, go for my Tango and Clarity, and get my stun and go ganking. Ro Roaming Alchemist. Yeah. That's very risky. That's why you only do it in pub games. I like this. Both teams are joining forces to try and stack... Oh, top them. lane. The CK is active now. See you later, man. Well, you can't bite us your way out of that one. At least if you can, I don't know how. Yes, you are right indeed. And I don't think they can defend the top lane anymore. They're just gonna have to forfeit this tower. I'm just and imagining. Look at, just look at 3, 3D Max Hero. They can go aggressive so easily, but yet they choose they chose to play so passive at the start. Well, they do have their core items up at least. The BKB coming soon for the Gyro. The Armlet already up on the CK. He can go for BKB of his own next. Meanwhile, he's going to TP bottom lane. Prophet tries to he's sprout him. him. The TP actually destroys the sprout. This Prophet should be dead. No, the, what a fog. Now top lane, the action picks up. Stun was a little bit early, only catches one. Well, it does catch Boomski, so not early, but not going to be able to catch two heroes with it at any rate. Ace running away. There's the lift of Curly. Dream Coil only catches Hayek. There isn't even a medallion after the might. After the Midas, after the Basilius, after the Treads. In the end, two heroes fall for 3D Max. CK TPs away to farm bottom, does not kill the Prophet. And that's a pretty bad fight. If CK was there, dare I say it, I think they could have just gone and killed everybody top. Activate his armlet, turn on his ultimate, bad, dead hero. He didn't even, he had a Quelling Blade too. I really think he could have just killed that Prophet. Just Quelling Blade through when you see him running around the trees, cut him off, pick him off, but... He just said, screw it, this is no, too he, much work. He, he went back to deny the tower. Yeah. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Probably his team captain is coming. Hey, deny the tower, deny the tower, deny the tower. Look, look at the oh, tower. Oh, Prophet gets caught, pulled in. Now the stun, chasing. Block, block. He's gonna block, block with the trends. Surround him, surround him. That's not a very good block. Now TP's away, the Puck Dream Coil. Is it here? It's still right. pulled out. The Prophet ult actually snipes him. Nature's then his corpse mm -hmm. returned to base. <laughs> Dead. He, his le his lifeless corpse was sent back to base. The shadow blade up on Krilly. Going on Hester Joe Rotten. Wants to get to this invis rune. Will not get to it. He'll die. And now with the alchemist having a shadow blade, he's going to start to put a lot of pressure on the map. Picks up the invis rune. Chasing Bowler. The stun will whiff. Time to charge that stun of your own. Auto attack first. Now the stun being charged. Uh, and let's see. He's got the shadow blade as well. Just needs to make sure he gets this off. Down he should go. What was stolen? It's the unstable concoction throw. The throw only! Wait, what was going on there? He didn't even charge, he just started with the throw. Very strange, maybe a visual glitch or something. Hayek tried to run away, taking big damage. One Shadow Poison stack up, two more auto attacks, one more auto attack. Down he'll go, 13 to 13. Crazy back and forth game, but there's double Midas on 4FC. So I suppose they are the ones with the advantage. Yeah, they have a medallion up as well on the Nature's Prophet. They could do Roche very easily. That was very With weird. The, uh, the Rubik, it said he had unstable concoction throw as soon as he stole unstable concoction. And he was just able to throw it without charging. Yeah, I was I was actually quite confused by that as well. I think it's a bug. Is that, that a... I mentioned. The, the recent patches, there's a lot of bugs. And yeah, there's one more bug I would like to mention. The gyrocopter's call down would destroy the Dirge Tombstone. Really? Yes. That, that is a huge bug. Why would that happen? No idea. It didn't happen before though. Oh, this is the- listen to this Roshan clap now. It's so loud. Oh, it, this is good for you. It'll wake you up. It'll keep, it'll keep you awake. <laughs> oh, jeez. 17.41. Rosh time. Thank you, Winter. <laughs> uh, Ghost Scepter, Urban Keeper of the Light. 
I don't know if this Ghost Scepter is going to do much. <laughs> sure, there's a CK, but look at the other team. There's a Laguna Blade, there's a Fade Bolt. There's so many other nukes. What, lo, what Laguna while you're in Ethereal form? You're pretty much dead. Yeah. It's just like inviting they, Buller to ult him. You know, they need Dagon as well. Best way to punish the Ghost Scepter, Dagon. Where is Navi when you need them? <laughs> they're still playing... They're really playing very passively. They are taking everything so cautiously. cautiously. And I remember you mentioning before the game start, like, this game actually didn't matter to both teams because they were in a very bad position to qualify. Yeah, but you'd think that would encourage them to be aggressive. Yeah. Top lane got, he got killed by the Shadow Blade stun. Yeah, the Shadow Blade stun, the minus armor as well. The medallion really does synergize quite nicely with Acid Spray. And these two with the Shadow Blade and the mobile It's kind of like having a Nyx Assassin, except he hits quite a bit harder. The you know, they, they like to mimic... I think they're going to mimic each other's item. First, they get a Midas together, then second, the Prophet will follow suit with the Shadow Blade. He's going to get a Shadow Blade. He has 3k. They have to wear the same outfit, too. Alchemist, on, Alchemist oh, no. needs a new wardrobe <laughs> to match to match the prophet's clothing. True. They are just like so passive and playing so safe. Like 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 I mentioned, because the game actually didn't matter to both teams. It was actually supposed to encourage both teams to play. I just want to kill you. Well, Ota. it's it seems like 3D Max is waiting for their BKBs at this point. Once they get those two BKBs, the question is, will they then go and fight? Or will they sit back and farm? Get your BKBs and farm when opponent has two Midas. Sounds like a legitimate plan. <laughs> I mean, the way the game's developing. They don't seem to be in any rush. You know, this game is somewhat similar to the game before, when I was talking about uh, both... The, the other team not punishing the other team, and the gyro, the last game, the gyro didn't went for Midas when he's farming the whole game. Yeah, uh, it is somewhat reminiscent of that, just, you know, so... It's just a bit weird. I mean, at least at, at least he's maxing the right spells. Max Rocket and, Barrage. And, and people, the community, like to say that the European Dota is more exciting. It can be, but not this game. Uh, well, now yeah. the excitement will pick up. Gyrocopter charges in. They could demonic purge him while he's under the tower. He's got to be careful not to take too much damage. They get the kill on Strangby. That's the keeper late. That's a crucial pushing hero. But profit yeah. up to 4k gold top lane. Now gonna look to TP I away. They have to give up this tower. I don't think they can defend this. If they try, they can try though. Demonic purge on Ace. Oh, denied. Denied. Huck gets the snipe. He got denied. And they invested a lot into that tower. The BKB charge on the Barracopter cooling down now. Cast Knight gonna have a BKB of his own soon. Like to see 3D Max go for a gem, go for some smoke ganks, try to establish some map control. Because the split push of 4, 4 FC is just way stronger with Kotal, with Prophet, and with Alchemist. Yeah, they can push out, clear out crit base a lot faster than 3D Max. But 3D Max can push out fast. Not that slow, they have the Iron Shell and the Flat Cannon and the Lina and Rubik spells. The only one that clears script slow is their main carry, the CK. He really needs a battle for you. <laughs> I never know when you're trolling Winter. <laughs> Except when you say that CK needs a battle fury, then I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you know there's one player who gets battle fury on CK. Mercy? No. Why god, why god? And I will be like, why would you get Battle for you on CK? And his I need response? To farm, I need to farm faster. They are thinking. No, I, 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 no, I'm just kidding. He would say something like, I, he, I need to farm faster than Mushi, so I need my Battle for you. Prophet's gonna TP in bottom lane. Or is he? Chaos Knight. Gonna, oh, oh. I, Not a very manly Chaos Knight. Now he's uh, gonna man up one crit. Should be one kill. There you go. Out of mana though, trapped inside of the sprout pretty much. He's got a little bit left. He's got an armlet toggle again. There's the reality rip. Actually does nothing though. He'll fall. The alchemist stun was there. Now they look at Chiro. He got a boot of travel. If you think about it, 
Keeper of the Light can pull one in, Tyrion te teleports in. Oh, they can instantly pop three heroes in front of your face. More global. Globals and Midases. Globals, Globals Midases, and, Midas and farming. Is, is the name of the Dotto now in Star Legend. Global Midas world. Roots and run. It's, def you know, it it's definitely a change of pace. It actually kind of feels right. You TP around the whole map, you Midas every creep on the whole map. <laughs> you farm a lot faster. I can't take you seriously anymore. It's a legitimate, a legitimate strat. When are you going to debut your own farming strategies? I, I'm not a farming person. Maybe you can talk to Mushi about that. All right, it's focusing back on the game right now. <laughs> about a 4K gold lead for the Dire, 4K experience lead, double Midas, Shadow Blade up, Boots of Travel up. At some okay, point, okay, finally. Finally, here they go. They, they don't even have the CK BKB, so I don't know what they were actually waiting for, because they didn't wait for that big item. They're going to find the puck top. Can oh, they... oh. oh. And there he reveals the smoke. smoke. Nice play by Pep. Yeah, he is very ballsy. And sometimes ballsy player does have some kind of effect where he reveals the smoke when he's walking at dangerous places. They don't even have the CK ultimate. Okay, all right. I think we found Mushi Winter. He's smurfing on 4FC. I was wondering why Mushi was spending his was spending his gold today. Like this isn't Mushi. Six K gold on the Nature's Prophet. What are you saving for, my friend? You you know you know why Mushi buys item as a whole? Why? He doesn't like to click multiple items at the same time. He just wants to click the full big item. It's, it's either he got a BKB or he just keeps the money. I wonder what this prophet is going to build. Will it be a Scythe device? Will it be a Divine Rapier? Please tell me it's going to be a Divine Rapier. That would just ma that would make my day. I think nope. it could actually work this game, to be honest. I think the prophet needs more global presence. He needs a Boots of Travel. <laughs> He's going Scythe device. Yeah, <laughs> he is. Uh, play the action picks Probably. off. Uh, or picks up, Prilly's gonna pick off the puck. Now yeah. the top tower under yeah. siege. Yeah, they just have so much picking, po picking off power, speed pushing and ganking with the Shadow Blade and the Prophet. If 3D Max has to follow this rhythm of gameplay, they are always going back to defend their lanes alone. They will just get picked off repeatedly again and again by the Alchemist and Prilly. Well, speaking of that Alchemist, the Basher is now online. Well, it will be in a oh, moment. Bottom lane, bottom lane, boom yeah. Boom the Juker. Boom the Juker. He's tried to block himself away, but there's a Chaos Knight off with his head. Off with your head too, Fairy Dragon. He wants it to be anyway. That's a stun on all three, on all the illusions. Not working away. He's got the ba Oh, no, the Basher not there yet. So he should be able to escape. Just barely get it away. That was really close. Two heroes dead in exchange for just the Shadow Demon. Will they go Roche off of this? Darkseer's going to respawn, so I guess not. No Roche yet. You know what? I think you're right. If the Nature's Prophet had a Divine Rapier there, that would have definitely killed the CK, who's trying to TP out. Yeah, well, considering he had like 5 HP, I'll say. Therefore, clearly he should have built a Divine Rapier. It's yes. it's just simple math, Bruno. Or, uh, Winter. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm okay. thinking of statistics, and so I'm thinking of Bruno. Yeah, Bruno is the numbers person. You never never go to anyone else if you he ask actually, a question about the number. He actually, oh, this gyrocopter has a... Please tell me he's going for an, an, a divine rapier. Has to Joe Rotten, make my day. You know you want to. There's no evasion, so there's no real reason for it. On to Boomski. Yep, there's the ult to start. Puck blinks in, orbs out. Can he get away? BKB was forced, he will. He will do so, the BKB is all coming out. Quilly manning up, bashing and trying to get the kill. But with all these sort of movement speed items, he doesn't actually hit that hard. Gyro could maybe come back in, they get backing back in. The Lina does, rather. The Rubik will get picked up by the Shadow Poison on the way out. Alchemist giving chase, everybody on a headlong retreat. Maybe now you go Roche, at least oh, get the man tower. Manmode, CK Manmode. Manmode, but where are the illusions? It looks like they've been picked off during this time. Prophet's still alive, Ace gets smashed. Now Ace will fall, just a massacre for Krilly and friends at this point.
taking the tower. Could easily go straight Roche with four dead, but they're going to barrel down mid. They want the tier two. The Prophet has bought back. I believe that was the Prophet. Yeah, the Prophet buys back. He's going to rejoin the fight mid up to 1,500 gold. Six, one, and eight. Getting fat, getting strong. And after this, no outer towers will remain. Do they even back now, or do they just go for the Rex? I guess they'll go for the Roche. It's probably the better option for them now, if they are really trying tr trying to play things safe. Well, it looks like they are. Prophet's gonna TP into the pit. So many of the trans- oh, the rocket- the rocket is gonna follow him. <laughs> All the way to the rush pit. <laughs> oh. I'm following the, the rocket. gonna die. <laughs> Before the rocket hits, or maybe at the same time. <laughs> He just picked up by the Alchemist. Abyssal Blade is here if he wants it. God, yeah. he's so... 18... Yeah. This is like a full... Hey, well, I, I wanted to talk to you about the Mushi's item build on Alchemist. Yes. I forgot about it. He goes Battle Fury, then he goes two Hyper Stones. <laughs> just the fuck? He goes... Yeah, and maximum attack speed. It's ridiculous, the attack speed. He goes for Phase Boots. I, I can tell you his item build, he does it every time. Phase Boots, Battle Fury, then he goes for two Hyper Stones. And he com he completes his he either sometimes he completes his assault then he completes his Mjolnir, or sometimes in between he gets a dagger, and his attack speed is ridiculous. He does it every single freaking time, and he would just go laughing when he kills someone solo when his alchemist is bashing nonstop <laughs> with the attack speed. That sounds like Mushi. Attack speed and farming power. He doesn't care about radiance. Why do I need radiance? I can just get battle for you. Stack, 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 NC, farm, 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 Grievous Greed, max at level 7, farm, 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 full slot, 30 minutes. I'm Time actually, to end the game. I'm actually surprised at how long it's taken for 4FC to get a real gold advantage. They're now up 4 towers overall, and they're only up 12k gold, which sounds like a lot, but considering they have double Midas, they have profit, they have the better supports for farming. Grievous Greed, Grievous Greed as well. And Grievous Greed. I'm shocked they're not up by like 30k gold. At least 20. Look at look at Chiro. He's hiding in the trees. <laughs> he doesn't want to farm. He just wants to kill. Here's the disruption soul catcher. It will catch out Ace. Ace trying to run. Gets purged. Hasn't surged yet. Won't be able to because he gets bashed. He's brought down. They actually did not even use the abyssal blade yet. CK running away. Gyro running away. Gyro had the BKB. Did not pop it in time. This may cost a big time. Alchemist was stunned though. Now the BKB goes. He's gonna TP away. Abyssal bash. is there. Bat. No, that wasn't even a bat. That was an abyssal blade, and he will fall. Triple for Krilly, and I think that might be Brax. It looks like it. Yeah. That might be game. They're gonna, do They're gonna do this really fast. Uh, you know what? They could just get this tower and just go to the, tro the tree if they want to. Radiance oh no. They're gonna get two Raxes, I guess. Well, and with a Prophet who's this farmed... Actually, yeah, they have double Hex now. The Puck picked one up as well. Double Hex, bat out. How, how difficult is it to come back to a game when you have two Rexes, two sides of Rex down and against a Major's Prophet? Apparently, it's pretty freaking difficult. Because they're just sitting in and the fountain. He has 6k go again. Is he going for Divine? Let's see. He loves to save his money, that's for damn sure. If only if Duratsu gives you interest for the money you save in your bank. <laughs> There's gotta be a long term payoff. So they got two <laughs> lanes of ranks now. <laughs> now they're gonna go for three. Here comes the push down the bottom lane. Five heroes grouped up. Oh. And up! Oh, well, there you go. GG's called. 3D Max are going to call it, so 4FC notch another one to their belt, and for 3D Max, the struggles in Starlighter continue. I actually checked the stats, and they beat Na'Vi, apparently, according to Dota Academy, on 228. About a week ago, they defeated Na'Vi with their new roster. I guess it was one of their first games with the new roster, but... They did you mean 3D Max? Yeah, they took down Na'Vi. But this does not look like a team who's capable of even beating the same game as Na'Vi, the way they played here, so... Clearly, they have some work to do. Yeah, a lot more games together would help them a lot. I mean, like you said, I really felt like they could have just gone aggressive this game. It would have been, I mean, a little bit risky to just try lane, but you could have just had the Darkseer there and Roam as well. You know, put the, the Gyrocopter mid. The CK does okay 1v1 versus Profit with a little bit of help early. 
they could have been roaming, and there's a lot of squ yeah. relatively gankable heroes that they could have tried to kill, but instead, they play passive winter, and passivity seems to be a curse, unless you have the more greedy lineup. Unless you have Grievous Greed, you have 10 Midas's, then you are alright to play Sish. Only two Midas's Passive. this game, and the Midas's prevail again. It's game of money, game of Midas, and 4FC win that game. And game global. Global Midas's, you've seen it all now. Guys, thanks for tuning in. That wraps up today's Starlighter coverage. We'll be coming back tomorrow with the GEST finals for this season, uh, for this, not for this season, but for this month. That will kick off when exactly, let me double check. It is going to... PM my time okay yeah it's gonna be uh i don't think it's 7 p.m i think it's 8 6 p.m i think uh the schedule says 7 p.m my time okay so it's either gonna be i think it's good i guess then it's gonna be 18 sgt which is uh or no sorry 19 sgt which is a 12 cet or 6 est or 3 PST. Basically, early in the morning, like the middle of the night if you're in the US on the West Coast, the early morning if you're on the East Coast, uh, the at noon if you're in Europe, and well, evening time if you're in Southeast Asia. So anyway, that's going to be the GST coverage for tomorrow. And then, of course, for Star Ladder, we'll probably cast some more games. There's actually quite a few really good games. Uh, Winter won't be casting those, as I believe he's getting ready to go meet up with Gods, who just touched down in Singapore, and is going to be enjoying some beverages with Winter, hopefully after Winter. Uh, has a good showing in the finals. Winter, how do you feel going into your match versus Arge? Last time you faced them, you guys had a very tough time. Yeah, I think it'll be a very tough time as well, but... Do you think you're better prepared this time around? I have backup on Invasion to tomorrow, so I feel better. <laughs> FZ is going to be playing with me tomorrow again. All right, well, I, w I didn't get to watch you guys today, but you made it to the finals. Things must be going reasonably well. I wish you the best of luck with that, Winter. Thanks, as always, for casting. Guys, that wraps it up for today's coverage. We hope to see you tomorrow at, I believe, 19 SGT. Uh, or, yeah, 19 SGT or uh, 12 CET. 12 CET. Thank you for tuning in. I'm LD. He's Winter. If you enjoy my casting, be sure to follow me, twitter.com slash LDDota. If you enjoy Winter's, be sure to follow him, twitter.com slash WinterDota. We will see you tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in.